everyone and welcome to a special video on, of course, none other than Jurassic World Evolution 2. Not one, a two. And today we're going to be looking at all of the dinosaurs release animations with max capacity. So when you're playing the game, you uh, synthesize dinosaurs. And when you do that, you get given a set number of viable eggs. You, I think you will always have some sort of like one or two eggs. But a lot of dinosaurs have way more than one or two, and in some cases, ten eggs, uh, which would be quite hard to get. Um, and the way to, you know, increase your chances is to increase uh, dish, well, uh, advanced eggs, advanced equipment, which gives you a 50% chance extra to for each egg to be incubated. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and sort of just react to all the different animations, because I haven't seen them, because even though I've you know, played this for like 50 plus hours or whatever, uh, in challenge mode and all the other different modes, I've never been able to sort of just sit back and just enjoy it, because I'm thinking about moving dinosaurs and all that just So here here we go with the first one being Acrocanthosaurus. Oh, let's see. So, unfortunately, Acro is one of the dinosaurs that um, only has one egg, unfortunately. But look at that. We're going to see multiple different camera styles happen here, and it's all completely random. Uh, so that one was actually a zoom in, zoom out. That was really cool. Nice dynamic camera. But nothing really to report. It's only one. However, our next dinosaur has three friggin' Albertosaurus. I want to see this one. I don't think I've ever released an Albertosaurus. Oh, yes. Look at them. Oh. So every dinosaur usually has some sort of interaction, like one or two that are there. That's good. I like that. Oh, look at them. So cute. So they're probably going to all kill each other in here, but we'll ignore that. We're just focusing on that. Now, I saw a glimpse of Allosaurus. Uh, and the way it comes out looks awesome. So I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Allosaurus, yeah, it's slowly opening and... Wow, ah, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. It's just like one to get out. And three of them like a pack of Allosauruses hunting prey. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> okay, my favorite one so far, Allosaurus. I like the unique, you know, it's like it can't wait. It just wants to get out and explore its world. Uh, Amargosaur. Uh, sauropod only has two. I actually did think that they would have multiples. Oh, we got a little bit of a interaction animation there. Side rubs. But let's have a look at our little baby Amargosaur that uh, we're probably going to die. Um, oh, look at it. So small. Interesting. Uh, I think Ankylosaur is the only, oh, you know, the really small herbivores are the only ones that actually only open one compartment. But for one reason, Amargosaur opens up both. And the second one's like, oh, I'm coming as well. I'm coming. And there they go. They're panicking because there's carnivores everywhere. And I'm not surprised. <laughs> we'll not worry about that. But Ankylosaur 3. This one's quite a hard one to get, actually. Um, I don't know why. Ankylosaur, they've, they've changed the way the dinosaurs are. And Ankylosaur is one of the ones that takes the most research uh, to get. And I wonder if that's just because... You know, it's so famous that they're like, okay, how about we make this a good creature, a good dinosaur, and a hard one to get. So no interactions between between them. There's still another one to come out, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh no, they kind of little little talk there between them. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. I like that. And you can see only one of the uh, compartment doors. Uh, open there. But that is all of one bay. So. Let's have a look at this. The Apatosaurus. Oh, two, two Apatosauruses. Again, a bit like the Margosaur. There's only one. Now, this makes sense why they opened both the doors for this. Oh, look at it. Gorgeous. I don't know how you fit two Apatosaurs in there, but we do. <laughs> I kind of also want to make a video on the Pteranodons as well. Because um, they, they have a lot of interactions with loads of different things. Oh, the, the Allosaurus is like, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Where's the second one? Ah, there it is. Allosaurus is like completely blocking the shot. That was one thing I was a bit worried about, was that um, Allosaurus and all the other released dinosaurs would just hang about, and that seems to be exactly what they're doing, unfortunately. So they still haven't actually released yet. They're taking a while. Oh, Allosaurus and Allosaurus having a little bit of a fight there. Oh, not so happy. They're dancing. They're dancing. All right. Archaeolithomimus, that first with eight. Oh, let's have a look at this one. 
I'm expecting just all to shoot out like a streak of magic. Yeah, look at them go! Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if they, they fixed the glitch where they end up running through a fence if you put the fence too close. Because I did that, I put it like right at the end there. And of course, the first one, the first three or whatever, sort of stick there. But then everything else runs past. And I think they automatically clip through a fence if you do that. Uh, maybe we'll test that. Now, Baryonyx has five. I was not expecting Baryonyx to have five. Maybe one, two, three in a push because, you know, Camp Cretaceous. But no, we got five for Baryonyx. All right, let's check this out. This is going to be good, surely. Oh, look at them go. Oh, it's so weird seeing so many Baryonyx. But it's beautiful. Five. Five. You could never release that in Evolution 1. You'd have to do five compartments in one by one. Uh, not as many interactions with each other than I thought there would be. Uh, Barry, uh, sorry, Barry, it's Brachiosaurus now. Uh, two, you can actually make two. There are some sauropods that you can only, only make one. And I think Dreadnoughtus. Dreadnoughtosaurus, whatever it's called, is one of those. Ooh, she's painted her toenails. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. So big. I've also changed the color scheme as well. Because uh, we've just done a Battle Royale video. Whether that's up before this or after this. Probably before. Because this is the one I'm recording afterwards. Uh, but we, uh, I've changed the skin colors up from that one. So you'll see different ones. Look how tall you are. And panicking. Running away. <laughs> Kamarasaurus being the second one. Again. Uh, one with two. It's like a little foot. Big flat snout. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's not really much they can do with the sauropods, unfortunately. They just kind of like slowly waddle out, do a little bit of a roll, look around. Whereas with the Allosaur, that was like, Allosaur was my favorite one so far. I love the Allosaur animation of it, like going, no, I want faster, let me out. <laughs> he wants to be out and hunt some prey. But this looks nice too, though. Look at you, cutie pie. All right, next one, two, count them, two, Carcharodontosauruses. Oh, we got another, like, zoom in camera. Oh, ho, ho, yes. That is gorgeous. Not much of a, you know, a look between the two of them. But again, that I love that Carcharod JPOG sound. That is gorgeous. What's next? A Car oh, Carnotaurus. You can have five Carnotauruses. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Five Carnotauruses. Let's see. Let's see these guys. Are they all going to run out? Oh, 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 oh yes. <laughs> there's so many of them. There's still, yeah, there's still another one to come out. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is that? We've got a... Oh, we've got the Car Carnotauruses right there. A little bit of a train wreck. I'm thinking what we can do is actually do a battle royale where we use the max batches and just see who wins out of all of them. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, we've got a, we got a budding heads. Oh, yes. Already wasting no time. Now, Ceratosaurus, unfortunately, is only four. But I think five is, is overkill. For whatever reason, they get five for Conotaurus and Baryonyx. But Ceratosaurus, four is probably enough. Let's have a look at this one. <laughs> Out they come. One eager beaver there, straight away. Because there's, I mean, each one that comes out is a unique animation, so... I know, it's just nice to see it all. Because that one that ran out first might have only been visible if you got, you know, the total number there. Next is Chasmosaurus with five. Are we going to see any tramplers? No, but we've got a lovely little herd approaching the camera. <laughs> but look at that! Oh, you can tell they definitely thought about the framing and everything. Oh, they look so much. Oh, and then we got a Ceratosaurus. Oh, God. And they've got Ceratosaurus ruining the shot. <laughs> oh, oh, there they go. They're so small. I, I, were they bigger? Were they bigger in evolution? I feel like they were bigger in evolution. Oh, we got a little animation there. Ceratosaurus. Lovely jubbly. Let's make sure that nothing else is going to block this shot because they seem to be just hanging around the hatchery. And the last one in this batch, the tiny Chunkingosaurus. I am, like, what I don't understand is why did we open two? They're so small. Like, Ankylosaur was like only one. But this needs two, apparently. Which makes me believe that maybe they originally were a lot bigger. 
but then they've scaled them down because there's a lot of uh, stegosaurs and stuff like that that I feel have drastically changed size since evolution one and this being one of them like look at that you can lose that in the grass almost look how big a carnotaurus is in comparison to it all right we've done a wipe and there's no more dinosaurs so i think every three hatcheries it probably gets a little bit overwhelmed so we'll not do that so celiophysis 10 being the first carnivore for 10 so i'm really looking forward to this never released it either oh look at them all oh Oh, they look so cool! I kind of just want to have a look at them. Those big eyes. Oh, it's not a big eye. It's just like a big dark ring around the eyes. Oh, they look so cool. I mean, it's definitely got to be the Troodon animation, right? It's got to be. And that's probably why they put Celiophysis in, I, I would assume. All right. Next one, we... Oh, God, hold on. We'll wait till the, uh, the Celiophysis run away. All right. Here it is. The smallest chickens. Ten Comsognathus. Oh, look at them go. They're after Dita Stark. Get him! <laughs> oh, a little bit of interaction for two of them. But I mean, what can we expect? They are tiny little compies. Now, most of the Hadrosaurs, moving on to Caritosaurus, have about four to six. I think six is the max that you can get with these guys, which is very interesting. But let's have a look at six Caritosauruses. Are we going to get any that have run out? Oh. Lucky, lucky at you. I was, oh, there you, there you go. We got one that runs. I was going to say, I don't know if um, I would even recognize what a Carithosaur call would sound like. Oh, God, they're running. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's Deinonica still in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, our next one, the max, I think, you can get of an Ankylosaurid in numbers-wise. The Critonosaurus, who's so tiny. Four of them. And again, we open up both. So Ankylosaur is probably double the size of Critonosaur, but we open both of them. Again, I, I really don't know the reasoning behind that. But look at them. One of the dinosaurs that I really didn't think was going to come back, I think it was the deluxe edition, wasn't it? It had Critonosaurus. I thought it was just an Easter egg to, you know, the author of Jurassic Park, Criton. Michael Triton. Um, but no, we, they, these guys are back again. And they have a really big star rating, 119. If you compare that to a Carithosaur, which is 59, that's, that's really interesting. And a Celiophysis, which is 21. That's, yeah, that is really strange. So they've definitely balanced the stars. I think last time, if it was Carnivore, chances were it was going to have a lot of stars. Whereas now, it's like Ankylosaur actually has loads of stars in comparison to maybe a Velociraptor. And the new dinosaur, Cryolophosaurus. Oh, four of them. I, I haven't had the opportunity to enjoy these dinosaurs uh, really that much. I can't remember. I, I mean, I've obviously unlocked them, but I don't really remember seeing them too much. And even in the, uh, the campaign mode, I didn't focus on it too much either. But I love the green on that crest there. That's so cool. Oh, 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 look at that. You've got like a chest press sort of uh, like a lizard's pumping their chest to impress or intimidate their opponents. All right, next one for Changesauruses. The small cousin of the T-Rex, I think it is. Yes. Oh, look at that camera. See, sometimes you get a really nice camera movement. Other times it's quite static. So I think it is really just a, a look at the drawer of what you get. And the next one, three Sauropel. I feel like I'm doing some sort of Christmas thing. Three Sauropelters in a partridge tree. <laughs> I think this is one of the biggest. And look, we've only opened the bottom door because Critonosaurus really needed all that space. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Look at their spikes on these guys. Massive. And off they go. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, the way this is, uh, these guys are all in the uh, in the dark, so it's going to be a bit hard to see these ones. Uh, the max you can get for Sinoceratops being a three. And here they are. The Slugs of Fallen Kingdom. Really not a fan of the designs, I will be honest. I don't know why they made them so chunky and weird looking. But maybe that's the way they would normally look. I don't know. Maybe I'm being biased. And this is where I get somebody in the comments like, well, actually, Beaver, they are accurate. And then somebody else is like, 
No, they're not. You're right, Beaver, to hate them. <laughs> and that's why I think I said I didn't like Karkara and Underserve. So somebody's like, no, Beaver, you're right. You're right. It's nothing. It's not accurate at all. It's weird. Go on then. Out you get. Oh, a little bit of rubs. Rubs on the side. So I think every Ceratops you know, has a unique animation, or at least a few. I think no Zootoceratops and Triceratops share the same one, but no, the Sino there definitely didn't. That was a different one. And, well, it's the, the queen of Isla Sauna, Spinosaurus. And unfortunately, there's only one you can get in this, but I thought we'd try out a different skin. Look at that, a yellow Spinosaur. That looks so freaking cool. I love that. And then next, six. Stegosauruses. Stegosauri? Stegosauri? Yeah, we'll call them that. A lovely coloring. The, the orange going to a, a green. Oh, that looks cool. Are they going to stop? Or are they going to keep on going? I'm just noticing the bit of grass there. Oh, a little play animation. Look at how many of there are. And these guys are big though. These boys are big. Big boys. Oh, that's nice. It can kind of fit in with the Spinosaur color there. And maybe that's it. I mean, I haven't really played around with the uh, the colors too much, but obviously I think this is some sort of forest or whatever, I think. And yeah, they definitely look like they belong in the same kind of region, the Stegosaurs and the Spino. Oh, little interaction. Oh, oh. thought it's, it, it started out so nice and then I'm oh, not happy. <laughs> All right, next one is five Apache Rhinosauruses. Oh, I thought I'd change these ones' colors. I'm used to seeing them with the uh, the purple crest. Or maybe they always have a purple crest if you change the if you put the pattern on. Because they're not brown. They're gray this time, but they still have their purple crest. Which is quite nice, actually. For display of intimidation or possibly mating. Yeah, look at him go. Terrified. Absolutely terrified. All right, here we are. The next one, my favorite. The little docile, I say little, the docile, Parasaurolophus. Oh, unique colors. The, uh, the yellow and the red. Ooh. Kind of like it though. Yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, I love the calls to each other. Just want to see it in the daylight. Oh, wow. That is, that is interesting. I still, I think I still prefer the Lost World colors. And next, five Pentaceratops, the, the moose of the Ceratopsids, and I think what had the most attack in Evolution. Uh, don't know about um, Evolution 2, though. I would assume, maybe. It's, it's a big, big Ceratopsid. Look at that. Frill. Nice. Yeah, kind of relaxed little uh, opening there. Oh, sorry, I should say intro into the back. <laughs> the the Changesaur is just like, mm, yeah. where did these guys all come from? <laughs> oh, is that maybe the Sinoceratops animation with the rubbing on each other? It could be, but they, I, I would assume they definitely don't share it since one's basically a slug and one's a stilt. One's low to the ground and one's on stilts, so I'd imagine they wouldn't. But uh, yeah, no, look, they're, uh, they're doing the rub animation that uh, Sinoceratops does. Maybe it's slightly tweaked. Oh, look at that herd. That was like a herding behavior running from the spino there. And I'm just kind of having a look and the uh, the pendaceratopses are sticking together. The stegosauruses are a lone carithosaur there. There's a few stegosaurs over there too. But for the majority, they do seem to be herding together. All right, another small boy. Maybe we need to open all gates for this one. The polacanthus. I think this was the first ankylosaur that I released in my park that ended up killing something. The first herbivore, I should say. Uh, I was very surprised, like, oh my god, okay. I mean, going from evolution to that? I mean, normally when things aggro in the first game, they just break out. But no, this guy just killed the other thing. <laughs> love it. I love the osteoderms and this, this plate that's on the back. Kind of out of place, but hey-ho. I assume that's what it looked like. And this one will be interesting. Eight. Pro Ceratosaurus. It's not 10 like tro like uh, Celiophysis, but eight of these guys. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I like that one that came. It was like, ha, jazz hands. Boy, look at you guys. They call me Mellow Yellow. Or at least they call Spino Mellow Yellow. And that's all of that one done. On to this one. We have eight Patchy Cephalosauruses or green ones. <laughs> So I'd assume if you made three, it would be these three, th these ones. And uh, if you made two, it would be those two there. 
something like that. Nice, though. Again, another green one. I've, I've chosen that green skin, I think, for a few of these dinosaurs. Right. On to Nodosaurus. Oh, oops. I accidentally clicked, uh... <laughs> I clicked just release. And it's just releasing, obviously, before uh, the Pachycephalosaurus was done. But here it is. I mean... Nothing much to say. Still will admit, I think Allosaurus is my favorite. It's the most unique. It's got the most character. Um, obviously, there's only so much that you can do with sauropods or ankylosaurs. It would be in the realms of uh, possibility. Ooh, lovely skin, though. It's kind of hard to see in the dark, but uh, no, look at that. That's quite nice. Right next, a Lore Titan. Another hadrosaur. One of the biggest hadrosaurs, I think. Look at those. They're like geese or swans. Their long neck. Five of them. Also, their hands are very different as well. They're slightly webbed. Yeah, they are. Oh, like, whoops. We got, a, we got a little patchy down here like, I sit. I like to be in the way. Yes. Oh, yeah. Look at those. So elegant and massive. Absolutely ginormous. Hadrosaurs there. All right. Next one. Oh, oh, no. I've done it again. Damn it. Right. We've started fresh. On to four. Oranosaurus. Oh, God. Wow. Ooh, I wasn't expecting two to just run out there. Oh, look at you. The Flumpies. Definitely didn't want to change it from the first one. And I like the pattern as well. The red was really nice, but this uh, this muted gray-brown also looks quite nice, too. And the final one from this batch, the Nigesaurus. Are we going to see any runs? I don't think so. Oh, it's like toffee. It's like a sticky toffee pudding, that coloring. Oh, no. Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Look how wide that mouth is. Obviously, for like stripping lots of leaves off uh, plants there. Just grinding them. Or maybe they don't grind them. No, I don't think sauropods did, did they? They just stripped them. But a wide palate, I guess, would mean that they would. Or I'm going to have somebody in the comments say, actually, Nigerosaurus was one of the only sauropods that could. To beavers, you're an idiot. <laughs> right. On to possibly the biggest, maybe the tallest. Well, possibly the tallest, maybe the biggest. The Mementosaurus. And unfortunately, you can only have one of these per. So there's no way you're going to be able to release two. Um, I don't know about its social needs or anything like that. It might need more than one, which would make it a bit of a nuisance. But at the same time, I think it's okay just by itself, actually. Look, you can't even fit it all in frame, for God's sake. It's just that huge. Let's have a look. Nope, I think it's fine. I think its population is fine. Now, something a bit more exciting. The new carnival for this game, Megalosaurus. Five of them. Five. Interesting. I did not expect Megalosaurus to make an appearance in this game. He's got a bit of an underbite there as well, isn't he? Social does not like Deinonychus, but five is more than enough. They're happy with each other. And another five carnivores, the five Metricanthosaurus. Do people like Metricanthosaurus? I'm indifferent. It's all right. Out of all the carnivores, I'm like, eh. It's a bit like Majungasaurus. It sort of fades into the background. And I think this skin is a returning one from Evolution. Uh, or at least it's slightly changed. I think this was... It's very akin to the Vivid skin, which was orange and purple. But now it's more like a, a muted grey. Right. Ah, uh, back to the Hadrosaurs with a Mutabarasaurus. From Australia. Oh! Oh, damn! Oh, that is gorgeous. I love that colouring on the head there. Wow. Oh, the god rays there. Oh, Oh, wow, I'd love to see in the light. Ooh. Would you mind turning around? Oh, yeah, look at the, the oranges and then a bit of green. It's almost like the, um, did anyone have those therm, like a temperature, or a fish tank thermometer that would change color? Like from browns to greens to blues and stuff. Kind of looks like that on the head there. Oh, that's nice. I like that. However, its max population is four. No. However, its max, like, 
However, the max amount of eggs that you can get for Myosaurus is four, and that is actually its minimum population limit. So, yeah, a bit of a pain in the ass that you can't just make it happy right out of the gate, but uh, what do you expect? Sometimes it's gonna happen. And on to Nozutoceratops. If you played this game, you have always made Nozutoceratops. Like one of the first dinosaurs you make. If not that, it's Struthiomimus. But I thought I'd put a different kind of skin on it. And that kind of reminds me of like a stegosaur that you get at McDonald's like in the 90s. It was, they did um, like dinosaur toys and it was yellow on the bottom and brown on top. Oh, maybe it's not brown. Look at that. Ooh, that's a nice color. Okay, finally onto something that, you know, actually has light on it. The Indominus Rex. Oh, we didn't get the dynamic camera angle. You get one where it focuses really close on the claw and then sort of moves up. But this, this is up there for one of the best uh, entry animations. Look at that. It is just so cool. The way it slowly looks at its uh, environment there. Ooh, brown. I went for a brown one. Yes. Look at that. That looks so cool. And off it goes to kill everything. Mainly the Mementosaurus right away. So, let's release its brother from another mother, the Indoraptor. Another good animation. I mean, these aren't dinosaurs. They're, they're actors in a movie, really. So, to give them some sort of presence only makes sense. And onto something that's probably not as impressive, unfortunately. It's a hard, it's a hard act to follow, is Indoraptor and Indominus. The little Kentrosaur. Have we opened all gates? Of course we have, yeah. I, I honestly don't know what the qualifications are for opening both gates or just one. But uh, definitely these do not fit the qualification for, or they do, but they shouldn't, for two gates. Look at you, yes. Oh, they're cute. They're cute, but they don't do much. <laughs> not the most entertaining to watch. It has to be said. Now on to what was a friggin' headache in the original game. That's it. The Myasaurus. Um, one of the weirdest looking. Uh, oh wow, it looks like a McDonald's character. I'm stuck at McDonald's now, especially with the red and yellow. <laughs> uh, we'll see what the social needs are for this because it was one heck of a nuisance. I think it was five or six you needed. So that was more than one uh, hatchery. And... It's saying 30, even though that's not correct. We'll just say it's fine. Well, we, we don't even... I don't really want to spend too much time on my Asaurus. It's a bit bland. How about five friggin' Majungasauruses? Yes. An underrated carnivore, definitely, for sure. A bit like Metricanthosaurus, I would assume. Or at least that's the way I see it as well. I think we're missing one. Yeah, there's the other one. And look at it. It's Shrektified. Not really much to comment about the uh, the entry anim. Not much to comment about the entry animation. It's there, but yeah, maybe it could be better. Uh, this dinosaur, however, here we got a dynamic one here. Uh, was one of the creatures that was the hardest to incubate and get them, you know, the max amount of eggs, which was actually six for it. Here we are, and they opened both gates as well. This was one of the dinosaurs in Evolution One that I kept on having a glitch with with the battle royales. Whatever fought it would just constantly glitch. I don't know why, but I assume they fixed. Oh, I love that green. Oh, that's a nice green. And there's so many of them, but look how small they are in comparison to these Majungasauruses and everything. It's crazy. All of the Stegosaur, except for Stegosaur, they're all tiny. Maybe that's more accurate. I don't know, but it is a bit of a uh, juxtap juxtaposition in comparison to like Majungasaur or something like that. Oh, look. Oh, a little bit of a shove. Oh, I'm not happy with that. And now on to one of the DLC dinosaurs for Jurassic World Evolution, I think it was. I think the Carnival Pack, the Hararasaurus. And there's five of them. Yeah. And they've all left this one in the dust, bless it. And it's left me in the dust as well, apparently. Yeah, not bad. A little bit of character, fast, gets it over with. I like it. Now I'm looking forward to this one. Ten. Ten double digits. Oh, Mallow. Freaking Cephalae. The cutie pooties. Look at the cow. <laughs> they have a bit of an uncanny valley look about them. 
I don't know whether it's the eyes or just the general head. I, it's just something about them, but they are adorable. So many of them, and they're not scared that they're completely surrounded by my junk. Oh, no, now, now they are good. They should be scared. On to a younger Saurus. Uh, when it came to this game, I will admit I was a bit disappointed to see these guys return, as well as some of the other Ankylosaurids, like Critonosaur, Nodosaur. Um, and this was one of them. We had Chunkingosaurus, Kendrosaur, Gigaspinosaurus, Hyungosaur. Uh, they're very similar. Very, very similar. Um, and I I assume it's, you know, I, are they anyone's favorites? I don't know. They're definitely not my favorite, but they, they fill out the roster, I suppose. <laughs> Look at it. We do have a lot. We do have a lot of dinosaurs in this game. But there's always room for more, like one of the DLC creatures from the original Jurassic World Evolution, the Iguanodon. And this guy came with its unique kill animation for small carnivores. I don't know, I'd assume it probably still has it. It would be a shame to waste that. And that was definitely one of the uh, animations that was heavily worked on, was there like kicking the raptor away or something like that. Next one, six little dryosaurs. If you played JPOG, you probably made these guys, except for they seem a lot bigger, and I think these are more accurate than the J-Pog ones. I mean, it was 2003, almost 20 years ago when you think about it. Well, look at their little eyes. Big eyes. Big eyes, little head. And cute little voices. Wait, did I just leave one in there? We've left a dryosaur in the enclosure! Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we've left one. We've left one inside. <laughs> no! Can you move? Oh no, he sounds so lost. Is that him? I think that's him. Oh, bless him. No, he got locked inside. Can we release? Can we open the gates for a Mondosaurus? Come on, Dryosaur, you need to get out. Come on. <laughs> Well, here it is, Edmontosaurus. One of the original hadrosaurs, or one of the first ones you get in Jurassic World Evolution. Sporting its colorful head and beigey, solid colored body. Oh, lovely. I like that little one that ran out at the end there. <laughs> but I do like that. That's a lovely colored head. On to another ankylosaurid. Or, you know, I don't know, the, the scientific name. Eupocephalus. Yeah, it trottles out. Doesn't really do much. Doesn't really communicate with the other one. Oh, there's three. Oh. I thought there was only... Two. Wait, what's happening with that guy's leg? Has he, has he already got a broken leg? I thought there was only two. Have we just transformed the Dryosaur into a Eupocephalus? It must have been three. Oh, okay. Dryosaur's still in there? Of course it is. Well, it's going to stay in there for the big flock of Gallimimus. Ten of them. And out they come. <laughs> yes. Just like the scene in Jurassic Park. Wait, that was ten? That was over so quick. <laughs> they were they were in a rush to get out. And they're all going to panic. And off they go, of course. Now time for the one or one of the few giant carnivores that hatches with two that being Giga. Oh, that Majugasaur might want to move out of the way or else it'll end up in lunch. Oh, that is cool. Love it. <laughs> Massive. Mahusive even. Okay, down to the last three, I think it is. With six Deinonychus. A very controversial choice when this first was put in. Not because of the dinosaur species itself. But because they decided to add the fin to its head, which I think even at the time was up for debate, but whether they wanted to be kind of at the head of dinosaur discovery, they thought they would make tadpoles. <laughs> so there they are, a lovely dark and red skin there. Next on the list, eight, eight Dilophosaurus. I didn't expect eight, maybe five, five max, but eight of these buggers? Nope, yep, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of Dilophosaurus. <laughs> Iconic, and I cannot wait to see it in Dominion, because at this point, Colin cannot win. Whether he doesn't put it in, we'll be annoyed that he didn't, and if he does, it'll be fan service at this point, because Dilophosaurus just, I don't care what you say, it just hasn't really been in any of the franchise or 
the quote unquote law um, of Jurassic Park, I wouldn't say. And, and it's like, oh, well, it wasn't taken off the island. It wasn't on any lists. Unless you're like super hardcore and you reference like one little fact. It, it, it doesn't exist anymore. Yes, it was on the display in Jurassic World. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, next, something I'm not really expecting too much of a wow over, that being Diplodocus. But one of the sauropods that you can make multiples of. You can make two, not more. You can't do that. I mean, it wouldn't fit, would it? It would just kind of like go boop, and spawn into existence in that hatchery, I think. <laughs> but wow, these look. these guys look cool. Whether it's accurate, paleontologically accurate or what, um, it just it just definitely looks like the Walker with Dinosaurs one. And that's, I love that one, the way that model looked. And this is basically it. I'm sure there's a few, few changes here and there that I'm just forgetting about. But for what it looks like, yeah, that looks awesome. Love that model. Animation wise... I mean, what do you expect? It's the Plodocus. It ain't got to sing and dance now, is it? <laughs> now, on to eight Draco Rexes. Oh, they're, they're running animations. Very interesting. It's like a hop and a run at the same time. Meaning dragon. And basically named just after Harry Potter, I think. <laughs> oh, we got some snow falling. A lovely lime green. Also looking extra glossy there. Sporting the Slytherin colors. Right, and the final one in here, one of the sauropods you could only make one of because it's that bloomin' ginormous. That is Dreadnoughtus or Dreadnoughtosaurus. Something like that. Absolutely ginormous. However, even though it is the biggest in the game, I think maybe Momentosaur can give it a good run for its money, uh, it can still be killed by large carnivores. And not even only large carnivores, I think. Uh, Soratosaurus, an Albertosaur, can also give it a run for its money. But look at it there. Oh, greeny. There's a big chunky head. You kind of looked at me like, what are you looking at? <laughs> and on to the second last hatchery with seven Struthiomimus, which was interesting because I, you can make ten Gallimimus. I was not expecting only seven Struthiomimus. Maybe it's a limitation because of, you know, they're like the first things you can make. Possibly, possibly. We'll also remove these trees so we don't have anything obscured in shadow. Next one, a dinosaur completely unknown to the franchise until Fallen Kingdom, Sticky Moloch, where it was just to basically be a comic relief. A Jim. Also, you kind of look like you've got angry eyebrows, though. Whoa. Oh, God, there's still more. Oh, a very long animation. Ooh. Interesting. I love little thingies. Kind of looks like a. I'm on Harry Potter now. It looks like one of the goblins <laughs> with its little hands. Is it okay? Oh, we can't really tell. Seems to be okay with its population. Next, six Styracosauruses. Lovely colorings. And again, if I think if you add the pattern, that the pattern basically is the um. The, I was going to say the inserts of the frill, but it's the uh, extra color there of the frills, which is a nice touch. And it's interesting that they allowed the pattern to really change and not just plonk stripes onto every dinosaur. For the, you know, the ceratopsids, it does add that little, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but the extra circles inside the frill. Next, not as many as Styracosaurus, minusing two, the Taurosaurus, which I think was basically an adult Triceratops? Something like that. I'm not too sure. But then I don't even know if Taurosaur exists anymore. God knows. Time changes. Do we really want to be a stickler for anything when everything you could say changes? No. It's a Taurosaur and it looks cool. And the final carnivore in this batch for Sukumimus. Oh, that is green. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it's so weird seeing so many and the way they interact. It's so cool. So cool. That is a green friggin' skin. Oh, I love it though. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Six Triceratops. I'm glad Triceratops got shafted in the original uh, Jurassic World Evolution. Oh, I think you could only like change three genes to it and that was even with a DLC. But this time, Triceratops isn't the first thing you make. It's actually no Zootoceratops. So Triceratops, I think, has a decent star rating and uh, mods that are able to change it. So that's quite nice. But look at them. Oh, they're so big and chunky. I love them. 
on to the last small carnivore, or second last, I should say, Velociraptor. Oh, blood. Blood red raptors. Red raptors? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love the lighter underbelly there. That looks cool. Haven't done the Chaos Theory modes yet, so I haven't unlocked all the different like skins you could get for the raptors, like the Lost World and the Jurassic Park 3 raptors. But hey-ho, it's there. And now on to the Hadrosaur, the last Hadrosaur, Sinsatosaurus, where you can make six of them. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I like that frill. And again, another dynamic. I think every dinosaur has the chance of having this dynamic camera, which is really cool because a lot of times, you know, especially with the first one, you saw the intro animation and I think it maybe changed sides, but that was it. Uh, whereas this, I think you have three or four different camera angles. So releasing a dinosaur doesn't feel samey all the time, which is quite nice. On to the tiny, or at least the last uh, ha <laughs> carnivore. Ten Trodon, look at him go. Oh, ho, ho, I like that skin. Good lovely red eyes. Contrasted very well with the pale skin. Now, I don't know if these guys are still poisonous. They probably are. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that because we're just releasing them. And they run at some speed. I, You are not watching sped up footage. Um, this is them running at regular speed. Oh my god, they're like bloody cheetahs. <laughs> and finally, the big mama jamma. Tyrannosaurus Rex with, of course, we have to finish with a dynamic friggin' camera. Yes! Two T-Rexes. Ooh. Not my favorite skin, but oh. Oh, the double roll! Look at that! That's what we want! What a way to end it! So there you have it, guys. Every dinosaur in the game with their max batch hatcheries. Um, ooh. Are we gonna see a little bit of interaction? I think we are. We might as well end it with a little bit of interaction. Oh, look! It actually works this time, because it never did before. Ah. <laughs> like how it chomps on the other one's eyebrow. Oh, that is so cool. Love it. Love to see it. So if you've enjoyed that video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, well, Jurassic World Evolution 2 should be releasing tomorrow. Hope you're hyped. Hope I've showed you a lot of things. I don't want to spoil everything. And you, I guess you don't have to watch it. If you, I mean, if you haven't watched it well, you won't have even heard this. But if you have, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.